A lot of people say that they uh, don't have much success in catching rats. Um, rats can be very difficult to trap um, because they are neophobic. Now the neophobia means um, you are afraid of anything new or you're very wary of anything new. So where a rat's um, feeding ground, so to speak, where they feed regularly, um, if something new suddenly appears, they're going to be very, very wary of it. Um, such as a cage trap, like this one here. Um, this is a monarch type rat trap. It's a multi-catch, self-setting. If you ever look at reviews of this particular type of trap on Amazon, um, you'll see a lot of reviews saying, um, you know, it's great, it's done its job and that, but you will see a lot of reviews saying, don't get it, the trap is absolutely useless, waste of money, um, I tried different baits, I put the uh, trap in different positions, and whatever, and they'll say, don't get it, it's a waste of money, the trap is a load of crap, but actually it's not, this trap is a good trap, um, catches, well, I've had up to six rats in it at, at one uh, time. And it does its job well. It works great as a self-setting cage trap, live catch trap. Um, what it is, is that people just simply don't know how to use it properly. And they don't know how to trap rats properly. As I said, they are neophobic. There's a lot of factors, such as how you place the trap, where you place the trap, the bait that you use making sure that there are no other food source is available and several other things. There's um, a lot um, of things that you've got to consider when you're trapping rats. And I'll just give you a quick look at this particular rat, rat trap. As I say, it's a, a multi-catch, it's a monarch type. Uh, you bait this section here, you can see it's split into two sections. First section there and the second section there and the rat will enter up there and it closes down to a little funnel type you can see there it drops down into the first compartment where you'll have a bit of bait not a lot of bait just you know a small amount of bait and then what it'll do it'll jump up onto this platform here which you can see drops down and then the rat will enter the second compartment and this little platform, a little trap door, pops up and then the rat will be trapped in this compartment here which you can open up at the back here to get the tr uh, rats out after you. Well I dispatch them, I, I never release rats back into the wild. I always uh, safely, humanely dispatch them. And then, uh, once you've got a rat inside, it will attract other rats. They're going to think, hey, up, you know, he's getting a lot of food or there's something going on here. And then more rats will enter, jump up onto this platform, it'll drop down, platform flips back up. And that's uh, another rat in the trap. So that's it. As I say, uh, if you look at reviews of this particular type of trap, um, a lot will be saying, don't get it, you know, it's a waste of money and whatever. There is absolutely nothing wrong with the trap. It's just simply that people don't take into account um, that rats are neophobic. So, hope that uh, helps. Uh, I've got loads of trapping videos on my channel if you want to take a look at that. Uh, from cage traps to fen, mark fours, rats, mark six rabbit traps fen cage traps and a few other cage traps as well, rabbit uh, cage traps, barrow traps, multi catch rat traps, single entry, double entry cage traps. So anyway, you may want to take a look at that. Thanks for watching.